What's up, guys? Dan again. Um, on to on to the uh, uh, the New Balance trip that I that I just went on. Uh, picked up uh, a few models. Uh, this is the second and third that I'm going to go over. Uh, we're 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 jumping into the um, the uh, Elite Edition models that New Balance just introduced this year. All right. So uh, if you don't know what the Elite Edition is, I you know I did a video. A couple months ago, with about the 1600 Elite Edition, kind of gave a good, you know, explanation about what it is, what it's about. Um, so if you uh, didn't didn't see that video, you know, give it a look. You get a good uh, idea of what of what we're talking about, what we're dealing with here, uh, with these shoes. So the first one uh, that I added, uh, 1500. All right. Uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, uh, the 1500 model has been around a long time. Uh, utilized more uh, overseas with the made in England versions of the 1500s. Uh, a lot of collabs being done uh, in the past on the 1500. Hopefully some more are going to come out in the future. Uh, but now they added the 1500 uh, to the Elite Edition series. Okay. Um, this one again comes in multiple colorways, uh, the royal blue, uh, you have a, a, a black one that's out there, uh, I believe there's a, there's a gray and a red model coming out as well, um, down the road at some point, uh, but for, you know, for, for this video we're looking at the, uh, at the royal blue. Um, again, very similar uh, construction as far as uh, the materials used and the, and the quality. Uh, same as the 1600, except uh, for the 1500, they're using uh, a softer new buck. You know, on on the fit on the 1600, they use the pigskin suede. Uh, here, it's more of a uh, you know a soft, uh, very soft new buck that they're using. Um, it's it's definitely not as uh, as coarse as you can see on the uh, on the fibers. Much 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 smoother uh, suede. Uh, embroidered uh, end logo, embroidered 1500 logo, okay, on the side of, of the shoe, on the saddle, you know, on the heel wrap itself, okay, you got the end cap here, the standard of it all, um, you know, pretty dope. Um, then you have hits of leather, uh, leather in, in the toe box, okay, right around the mesh, you have hits of, uh, of leather, you have uh, a leather, uh, a leather, I guess, base tongue tab, okay. Um, and then, you know, forefoot, side foot, uh, with the black netting. See, a lot of people don't notice that there are actually two different types of colors used for the, for the mesh. Uh, you got the gray mesh, again, in the, in the, in the, in the toe cap, in the toe box. And then you have, uh, a black mesh, uh, a little bit, uh, wider, uh, openings in, in the mesh, uh, as you can see, um, in the saddle part of the shoe, okay? Uh, the tongue itself, made of leather, okay, all leather material in the tongue, um, which is, uh, you know, utilized nicely. Uh, they didn't overdo it with it. Uh, again, a shoe that comes just with one set of laces, the blue, uh, blue laces come standard. Um, you know, I've seen some models that come with the gray laces. I guess really, you know, whatever you get lucky with. Um, but for the most part, uh, very, again, a very simple, basic shoe. Um, very comfortable though, you know, uh, I definitely think that this is uh, one of the more comfortable models in, in the New Balance line. Uh, some people might disagree, it really is dependent on the person. Um, whatever, you, whatever you feel, whatever you, you pick your poison, but um, the 1500 to me is, um, uh, is definitely one of, the, one of the more comfortable ones. Now, um, what I have noticed with the 1500, at least with the Elite Edition, it is running a little bit bigger, okay? Maybe a half size bigger. I mean, I, mean I, I stay true to size, but I feel that there's a little bit more wiggle room in the shoe itself. So, you know, if, if you're if you're worried about you know how you, how you should size yourself on these, you can't go wrong going true to size uh, or even a half size smaller. Uh, I mean, if you really are not one of those people that's neurotic about it, I say try them on. Uh, but I think either way, you know, go true or go half size smaller, you, you know, you're not going to go wrong. Um, but again, uh, New Bounce 1500 Elite Edition, uh, great shoe. This is the uh, uh, off foot shot. We got uh, my cameraman, uh, 
Mike D who's wearing them. Let's uh, let's get an on-foot shot here of him. Uh, that way you guys can see what uh, what we're talking about. So um, you know Mike's wearing the uh, the 1500s. Obviously it's uh, <laughs> it's been his uh, his drug of choice, so to speak. I've seen him wearing these uh, bad boys uh, quite a few times already. Uh, you know, past couple of weeks. So uh, as you can see, it goes with anything. He chose the sweatpant look today, uh, being uh, uh, low key, low low profile, but um, definitely a shoe that pops and stands out. So um, you know, there you have it. Um, Nike. Uh, New Balance 1500, Elite Edition, grab one, peace.